Hello friends, I am Dr. Sutha Renji from Sanjeevni College of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Department of Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry. Friends, today we see how to measure length and width of the fiber by eyepiece micrometer. Friends, in case of the microscopical examination, we are finding the different type of the fibers, then starch grains, but it's quite difficult to measure the length and width of the fiber. So friends, in the last uh, series, we see the use of eyepiece micrometer. In case of this one, we see the calibration of the stage micrometer and eyepiece micrometer. By utilizing the stage micrometer, we are going to calibrate this eyepiece micrometer. So this is the eyepiece micrometer is there. We have to be utilized for microscopical examinations. So by utilizing this eyepiece micrometer, we are going to measure the length with diameter of the fiber, which are observed in microscope. So friends, uh, this is your eyepiece micrometer. And uh, here the scale is there, which is to be calibrated by utilizing a stage micrometer. After uh, the calibration, we see that one division of the eyepiece micrometer is equal to the 6.66 micrometer. This is your eyepiece micrometer scale is there, okay? So let's we see how to measure the length with diameter of the microscopical particles. So first let's we see uh, measurement of the diameter of the starch grains. So take a slides on this one slide. These are the starch grains are there, which are to be observed in microscope. So it's quite difficult to uh, observe this starch grain. So we have to stain this one starch grain uh, by utilizing iodine solution. We have to utilize dilute iodine solution, just we have to spread iodine solution or stain this one. So this one starch grains are there that should be converted into the blue color because of the iodine solution, okay? So once uh, we have to stain this one, we have to uh, take this one uh, starch grain. Consider a single starch grain is there uh, where the where to adjust the IPS micrometer where the starting of the starch grain is to be coincides with the IPS micrometer. Means just first line, starting line is to be started with the uh, starting of the starch grains and how many number of the lines are there that is we found in case of the starch grains we have to be counted that one so here the lines are there one and two three these are the three lines are there okay uh, so diameter of the starch grain is equal to three divisions of the ips micrometer so friends we know that one division of the eyepiece micrometer is equal to 6.66 micrometer. So three divisions of the eyepiece micrometer is equal to three multiplied by 6.66 micrometer. The total diameter of the starch grain is there is 19.98 micrometer, okay? Second one example is there, just we are going to measure the length of the fiber. So uh, here, these are the fibers. We have to stain that fibers by utilizing chlorogestin or NaCl. The fibers are getting stained by a red color or the pink color. So we have to take this one fiber, okay? And just across the starting line of the uh, micrometer, IPS micrometer, we have to be started with the fiber, starting of the fiber. Means your first line of the IPS micrometer is to be matches with the starting of the fiber. And what is the end of the fiber is there, that's we have to be measure. Here, the end of the fiber is there, is at six division, okay? So the total length of the fiber is equal to the six division. As you know that one division of the eyepiece micrometer is equal to 6.66 micrometer. So six division is equal to 
सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्सटी सिक्स माइक्रोमीटर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइनटी सिक्स माइक्रोमीटर ओके सो इन दिस वे द लेंथ ऑफ द फाइबर इज देयर इज थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइनटी सिक्स माइक्रोमीटर ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज देयर हाउ टू डिटरमाइन द वेट ऑफ द फाइबर दिस इज द फाइबर इज देयर we have to stain that one by using chlorogeosin or hcl that gives you a pink color red color so we have to take this one fiber okay then we have to set this one across this one uh, the total width it's come to the two divisions so width of the fiber is two division okay so one division of the ips micrometer is equal to 6.66 micrometer Two division is equal to two multiplied by six point sixty six micrometer is equal to thirteen point thirty two micrometer. So in this way, uh, friends, we are going to uh, take the twenty to twenty five readings of the samples, and from this one, we have to select the least and the maximum. so what is the range is there is to be obtain the particles are there that is present in that one particular range so in this way we are going to measure the diameter of the starch grains or the circular particles are there the length of the fiber width of the fiber or any of the particle which are microscopic one by utilizing eyepiece micrometer uh which is a calibrated one we have to measure the length and width of the fiber okay so friends if you are new to this one uh, channel request you to subscribe my video channel and you like to my video thanks for watching thank you